Hey everyone, it's Angela and today is an exciting day because we are going to the Yoyoi Kusama exhibit. Yes, I feel like I just need to breathe a second because I have been wanting to go to this ever since I saw people in LA going to this exhibit like last year and I had even considered buying a plane ticket just to go to LA to see this and then I found out that it was going to be a traveling exhibit and it was coming to DC and so I've been waiting for this exhibit for so long and I cannot wait. It opened up last week but today was like the first time I was able to get a ticket so I hope you guys enjoy it and I already know I'm going to. I'm just so excited and I'm so glad I can take you guys with me. Let's go! just got out of the exhibit and it was so cool. My favorite rooms were definitely the dark ones with all the lights and things like that. But I would have to say that I did feel a bit rushed in each of the rooms. You only got like 20 or 30 seconds in each of the rooms and you have to go with two or three other people. So thank you so much for watching. I would definitely recommend this exhibit and come back. I'm probably going to come back because it's here until May in DC so. Just kidding guys, I'm back in the car and back at the Hirshhorn because I found out after my last trip here that I won this entry to come to the museum before it even opens to the public, which is so awesome because I think we have a little bit more than an hour to really explore these rooms. Last time, like I said before, you could only get 20 to 30 seconds and you had to wait for each of these rooms, probably like 30 to 45 minutes and it got exhausting. And by the end of it, I was so tired and I'm so glad for this opportunity shout out to IGDC thank you very much that I hope I really get to spend some time in each of the rooms and really appreciate what I'm seeing and compose a decent image and get my settings right last time was just so high pressure so rushed that I'm really grateful and so super excited to have this opportunity and I'm glad you guys can come with me again so let's go inside <laughs> So I just got out of the museum and it was so beautiful, so gorgeous, so much better this time because I really got to enjoy my time in each of the rooms. We got a minute this time so that was really, really great. Um, so if you're a photographer uh, and you want to visit this exhibit, some tips I have is bring a zoom lens. You don't really need a wide angle because most of the time you have to go with strangers anyways and so if you don't want strangers in your shot, bring a zoom lens, high ISO and have your shots prepared and already imagined in your head before you go there because it is a high pressure situation. I don't know if I've just said that or not, but it really is. Um, sorry, I'm distracted. I'm distracted by this view. I came here, walked right next door over to the Smithsonian Castle and plan on taking some pictures here. But thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe if you'd like to see more and I'll see you next time. Bye. Hey, we're at Hoffman Beach sunrise and it's beautiful and it's only 9 
And I'm going to officially say that the pumpkin room was my favorite. It was closed the first time I went and I got to go today and it was definitely the coolest one.